What up, Ponders? It's your girl RP here, and welcome to a new video. This is like the third time in like as many days that I've tried to film this video. I just every time I get around to filming it, I kind of just get either too clinical or too emotional. Like I nearly broke down in my last trap when I tried to do, it. and the one before that, I was just like, "Here's what happened." Blah blah blah. I don't want to do that. This video is very important to me. I don't want to be crying or like acting as if I'm some scientist on the topic. This is about my third favorite TV show of all time, Gomi's World, getting cancelled. It was a Disney show, don't judge me, but it was honestly one of the best shows that's ever been made. You know, it talks a lot about serious issues and it really, it's such a fantastic show and I'm really upset that it's getting cancelled by Disney. I'm like, what are you doing Disney? Like, come on, this is your, the main show that gets you your views and you're cancelling it? Like, what? The channel's gonna go pretty downhill from here. No one's gonna watch it. Except, like, really young kids. Um, so that's kind of sad for Disney. Not sad for me, because it's a little bit of revenge. Like, I get Disney had reasons, I'm sure, and I don't want to get angry at Disney, because it's not their fault. Plus, we need to be on their good side if we want Netflix to take over, because Disney has to get them the rights to do that. Um, but yeah, so I know they have their reasons, but it's really depressing that they cancelled such an incredible show when it really should be going for so many more seasons. Um, but thanks Disney, we did get actually three years of this wonderful show, you know, without Disney we wouldn't have gotten any of it, so don't be super angry with them. Like, you have the right to be angry, but don't be like, down with Disney, let's report and block them on this Instagram, like, that's a little childish, guys. But yeah, I'm really upset about it too, but come on, let's, instead of being bitter, be productive, as a lot of people are, where a lot of people are calling and messaging and s sending in suggestions to Netflix and Freeform, especially Netflix really, to pick up the show, to the point where Netflix is like, we've got so many requests, we're going to try, but they have to get the rights off Disney, so... Who knows if it's going to happen, hopefully it will because we all love the show and we need it in our lives, at least I do. Um, yeah, this show was incredible, you know, the characters, the storylines, everything just made me incredibly happy. Especially the fact I'm the same age as the characters, you know, like I'm actually, I kind of grew along with the characters, it was really interesting, I've never gotten to do that before, you know, all the shows are all, shows are always older than me, you know. Especially, even on Disney, all the characters are always like in their teens and I was, you know, seven or something. So it's really cool getting to watch a show where I'm the same age as the protagonist, even a little older actually. So that was really cool. Um, so yeah, but it's getting cancelled. So I thought I would make this video in remembrance of such an incredible show. I'm also going to be doing season reviews within the next few weeks, you know, I'll be doing a season 1 review, a season 2 review, and a season 3 review once season 3 is over. So I will, this won't be the end of the Gummies World on my channel, it kind of is the start really. I also need to thank the crew of the show, you know, the writers and the directors and the stage, the backstage people, just everyone who ever worked on this show. You made such an incredible piece of art, basically. and. Thank you all so much. Without you guys, we wouldn't have gotten this. So thank you for working on it. With all you've got, it was a great show. And I thank you all so much. Now, I'm going to talk to you guys. You, the fans of such an incredible show. The fandom. I have been part of the fandom since February last year. That's when I joined Girl Meets World. That's when I started watching it. You know, I watched... I was recommended it or something, I don't really remember how I found out about it, but I watched a season and a bit, I got up to about Secret of Life and then I stopped for a bit and during that time I made a fan account and that fan account was on Instagram and it was called at xrobox. That fan account failed because that day I got blocked from Ron Blanchard's comments and freaking out because I was permanently blocked, I made a new account and renamed it the same thing and deleted the other one. So, you know fun times. So, since that point, I have been part of the fandom and in that time I've gotten 500 followers. I know some people get more followers in short in a shorter time, but I really feel like I've grown as a, an account and I've 
God, I've really earned these followers. So thank you to every single person who ever followed me. If you do follow me, thank you for watching this video. Thank you for being with me through this incredible journey that is going to world. And if you haven't followed me, maybe follow me. There will be a link in the description if you want to check out my account. I do a lot of AUs and I'm currently working on increasing my Menip um, technique because I'm really bad at it. But yeah. I just, I love this show so much, and I really just, I'm going to miss it, and I'm going to miss the fandom. I don't think I'll leave. I'll stay on Instagram. I don't, not post as much, but I'll always be on Instagram with this show, especially if it gets picked up. I will be probably even more excited, because I, I love Netflix, and I'm really excited about the idea of going to, getting to explore more teenage or adult things, not like sex or anything. I think they're a little young for that, at least character-wise. You know, they're 15, going on 17, 16, sorry, at this point. Don't really feel comfortable in talking about sex, but maybe when they're like 17 or 18, I'll be like, cool, interesting, relatable. Not to me, but to others, it's relatable. So that'll be fun. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to hear them talk about drugs and alcohol. I feel like that's something that at this time they'll probably have to deal with, you know, hearing about it talking about and partying and stuff like that, you know, real dramatic teen stuff, but like in a way that's actually handled properly. Because we know this show can handle incre like very important issues like bullying or feminism or cultural appropriation in like the first season, that was a good episode. Um, I found it ridiculous at the time, but now I'm looking back, I'm like, that was a really top-notch episode. Um, and just, ah, uh, that show. And they've done a lot. They also talked about mental illness, or not mental illness, sorry, mental disabilities in the form of Asperger's and autism and stuff like that. And I'm hoping they'll talk about depression if it does get picked up, because I see a depression storyline forming in the in Riley Town. You know, Riley Town very much talked about it, and even in earlier episodes, it's hinted at, like in Telltale Tot, there's a line which the Tot says, which is like everything is my, is your fault and then she's like what and he's like oh that's for later so that makes me think Riley's gonna get depression and if she does the only way we'd get that is if it's on Netflix so if it does get picked up please Netflix do that storyline I think it's very important for kids to hear about it and know that depression is a terrible thing but it's not doesn't make you weird or not un or bad it just means you have a mental illness that needs to be you know looked after and needs to be looked after, is that the right word? No. That needs to be treated with you know dignity or respect and not the mental illness, but you with that. And you know that there are ways that you can deal with this mental illness in a way that makes it easy and I just feel like Gotmeets World could teach people about so many lessons and I just really hope it gets picked up, you know, by Netflix so that we can all hear these lessons from such an incredible show. And if it doesn't get picked up, I want to thank you guys, the fans, for sticking with the show. You know, sounds like I'm part of the show. I'm not, obviously. But thank you guys for creating such an incredible experience. Both you got both the fandom and the crew and cast and everyone involved in Gummy's World at all. Thank you guys for such an incredible show and such an incredible fan experience. And even if the show never gets never ever gets picked up I can proudly say that we were a strong fandom that never ever gave up fighting thank you guys so much for watching please maybe leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed this video talk about you know how much you love Gummy Twelve in the comments maybe if you want to and maybe even subscribe because I know this video was not the best time to ask for subscribers it's really not but I will be talking about Gummy's World in later videos, you know, with season reviews and stuff like that. And if it does get picked up by Netflix, I'll have a major excitable video. So, you know, you might want to subscribe so you don't miss out on those things. Fingers crossed on the Netflix thing. But, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure, if you can, to call Netflix, you know, if you're in the area where you can. I can't, but we can still um, send go onto the Netflix website and recommend it in their suggestions. I'll leave a link in the description to that website. Um, also sign petitions, you know, to Disney and to Freeform and to Netflix, stuff like that. 
about the show and to Disney especially about giving the rights up to a show that to a network that wants to because obviously if you cancel the show you don't want the show on Disney so give the rights over um, so yeah stuff like that will be in the description um, and for now bye guys thank you all so much for your meets world